Welcome back, welcome back. Today is strength day, which means we're gonna work on muscle definition. But first, we're gonna get into that how it's done, 101. Oh, Only been saying it be forever, and I like going 101 with us. Hopefully, that's the, the like, idea. The but like, how long have door. I been saying it and then Ailey fucked it up? I can like, anyways, so today, in how it's done 101, we're gonna talk about long lean muscles and how we develop them. There's this big old myth out there that a lot women specifically, they say, I don't wanna lift weights because I don't wanna look like a man. Have you heard that? Would I don't want to block. Happen? I think people no, it still happens. Happen. People, people, like, first of all, let's rewind. Scourge. It takes a lot of focused, deliberate training to get that short, bulky muscles. That's why bodybuilding is a sport. It's intentional. It's intentional. It's not an easy thing to do. Otherwise, there would be lots of like gigantic people walking around. It's hard to do, which is why the gym is full with people day after day, week after week, maybe not right now, but, <laughs> but day after day, week after week, intentionally pumping iron to try to look like Popeye. It's not that easy to happen. So women, it's not gonna happen accidentally. Even if you're genetically predisposed to build muscle quite quickly, I tend to build muscle quite quickly, it still takes a lot of work to get muscles, right? Especially in that short, short range of motion where they bulk out, it's called hypotrophy. Now, building long lean muscles, there's a couple things we can do to help with that. One is diet, obviously, and I don't mean like restrictive, um, restricting what you eat, counting your calories or anything like that. It's just the type of food. Let's take away the stigma with the word diet. The word diet doesn't mean you're restricting anything. It doesn't mean that you're forcing yourself into a certain amount of calories. It simply means what you eat, when you eat, and how you eat. So a clean, balanced diet. So words should go in front of that. Diet is just, we're talking about our, what we eat and how we eat it. And how we do that is a clean, balanced diet, lots of like nutritionally dense vegetables, clean proteins, and of course you wanna be able to fuel your movement with carbs. Okay, so a nice clean diet is number one. Next, proper range of motion, which we touched on yesterday in our How It's Done 101. Okay, so building long lean muscles comes from working the entire length of the muscle. Uh, the bicep is an easy one. Do you wanna grab a weight and let's demonstrate a quick bicep curl? So we're gonna curl that bicep all the way up, all the way to the shoulder head, and then go all the way down, full range of motion. And we're activating the entire length of the bicep. So bodybuilders specifically, when they try to make big muscles, hypotrophy, they tend to stay within a shorter range of motion. And by doing that, they're working just the belly of the muscle, trying intentionally to build it out. So if you want a long lean muscles, range of motion is another way to do it. So our tip so far is diet, different ways to reduce your body fat. Basically, we're trying to reduce body fat so you can see the muscles more, okay? Working that entire range of motion. Andre, get out of my way, get out of my way. I can't see <laughs> the entire range of motion, okay? Plus, plus, again, coming back to yesterday, working on postural exercises, mobility. Simply, Put, if you are standing in proper form, right away you're lengthened. Your muscles are properly activated. We're not hanging out in our joints. We're not slouching, we're not rounding our back. Simply by standing tall, being balanced in the front and the back of our body, right away, it looks like you lost five pounds. An easy way, right? Easy way. Anyways. That, that is equivalent to this. Yeah. If you're standing like this, you're shortening it. Like just lengthen, stand tall, be proud. Use your entire range of motion and let's build those long lean muscles. We're gonna get into that a little bit more in our finisher. We're targeting long lean muscles in the arms, but we're gonna get right into our workout. Anyways, that's how it's done. One, oh, one, boom. All right. We're gonna get right into that workout. First, we're gonna warm up. We're working for 35 seconds of work. 
resting for 15 seconds. We have a whole lot of equipment. You'll notice that Jesse and I are wearing our vests today. You do you. Start with your vest. If you need to take it off, take it off. Okay? We're working with our challengers. We have our stability balls. We have dumbbells. And we have the beautiful and versatile, pretty little pink thing. Okay? So much is pink happening. Pink thingy. Pink thingy. I know. I just... We named that shit. It's someone was like, what's that thingy. pink thing called? I'm like, pink thingy. And they're like, yeah, 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 the pink thingy. What's it called? Yeah, I'm like, pink, pink thingy. thingy. Yeah, it's called the pink thing. Yeah, it was, it was like a Seinfeld skit. No, it's actually it's called a, the pink thing. It's actually called the pink thing, right? But right, pink we're, thing. We've renamed it. I, I tend to add Y's on the end of things. Like, Aww, Tammy, pink, pink thingy, Jesse. Well, that was already there. That was already there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get that timer going. We're going to start so with our A star. In this warm up. All right. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna add the little clap, because why not? So you wanna try to keep your chest lifted for this one. If you feel like that clap forces you to round through your back, skip it. We're just gonna do the running arms if that's the case. Nice and light on our toes, getting our heart rate up, mobilizing through our knees, our hips, our ankles, our shoulders. Lots happening here. For three, two, one. Now we're coming back to those gate openers. Really important here for hip health. Okay, so we're gonna take it out. We seem to love these, I have to say. I think it's important. I think it's important. It is important. Moving in a way that we don't typically do. Well, now we do typically, and now you guys do typically by virtue of being here with us every day. <laughs> but usually, you don't open the gates. <laughs> sitting happening we need to yeah it's so important my hips are always so tight okay we've got those cross body arm swings so I want you to think of using just a little bit of momentum as we send the arms out okay think of bringing the shoulder blades together behind the body as the arms go out and then we're gonna alternate which arm goes above which arm goes below and breathe <laughs> we're going to go into deep squats, guys. So I don't want you to be afraid of a deep squat. So come down nice and low and even stay here. Move around a little oh, bit. Oh, we're staying here, okay. You don't have to. You can just go into a deep squat. Stand up to the top. The length, come back down. You know that phrase, ass to the grass? That's what we're doing here. This is actually a really good digestive um, organ stimulation pose and fertility pose. All right, all right. It's true. I know. Remember that whole episode? Oh, yeah. I couldn't look at you. Save it for the next episode. <laughs> Don't make eye contact. I fear of getting pregnant. Right, okay. Bring it back up. Hop squats. Hop squatches. Hop squatches. <laughs> okay, I can't think up. So two out, one in. Alternate that single foot. Some ankle mobility here. I have to focus so much on this. I'm not good with the fancy footwork. Actually, I, laugh. I can dance without, like, if I don't have to think about it, but if yeah. I have to follow steps, True. I'm so freaking awkward. True. I'm the girl in the dance class that's like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. The girl at the club. Yeah. <laughs> but the girl at the club that's like, woo, woo. All right, forward lunge with the rotation. So starting with that right leg. So walking out like forward. I messed it up. Okay. We're gonna rotate across that forward bent knee. Be sure that that front knee is stacked directly above the heel, mobilizing through the spine. All right, coming down, cat cow. So here we're planting the hands directly below the shoulders. Push your palms into the ground. And on the exhale, we're going to round our back up towards the ceiling. Think of scooping your belly button in and up. And then as we inhale, sink your heart, stick your tailbone out. Gaze goes up to where the wall and ceiling connect. Five more seconds here. Then we're going to roll over on our back and do those knee hugs. I love hugging my knees. So all the way down. We're gonna hug the right knee in towards the chest. You can pedal out through your ankles here if you'd like. A couple seconds on either side. And as you pull one leg in towards the chest, try to soften the other one all the way down. Yes, that's the part. Really opening up that, that hip. I know it's a little bit awkward if you're wearing your vest, but that's okay. Last one. All right. Okay, 
First and foremost, we're going to reach for our stability ball. We're going to reach for those dumbbells. We have a chest fly, okay? So I want you to be careful with getting onto the ball. So we're going to start seated on the ball. Hang on to your weight, and then we're rocking our body out until your back body's on that ball. Your shoulders and your neck are fully supported. Try not to sink into your hips, but actively push into your heels to keep those hips up. We are on in five seconds. Palms are facing one another here. As we take the arms out to the side, soft bend through the elbows. So the back of those arms tap down on the ground. I thought we were starting on the low. What happened there? I thought that was a rule of thumb. Alright guys, so you should have worked through those 35 seconds. Last time, here we go. Second set. Here we go. We're going to take those arms wide. So the back of my triceps are just tapping on the ball, okay? And then we're coming all the way back up. You can pause here for a second to lose the momentum and then really use your pecs to be the driving force to get those weights back up over the chest rather than bouncing off of your ball. Okay, we're still working. So Keep your hips up. On that drive to the top. Almost there. Breathe and rest. Woo. Okay, if you want to get out of this, we're just going to walk back up. Okay? Well, I'm not going <laughs> to. Apparently, I'm not walking. <laughs> we're just chill. We're just chill. I, I meant to do that. I'm just chill. I meant to do that. <laughs> Two and one, our last set. Okay, weights up to the sky, bums up. Take those arms wide. So you should feel a nice stretch across the pack, okay? If your arms get all the way back, if you have healthy shoulders and you have this full range of motion, you'll feel a nice stretch across the pack, okay? Helping to build, guess what? Long, lean muscles. See what we did there? Yeah, it was planned. There we go. So we're taking it wide, inhale, big exhale. How much more time do we have here, Jess? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna reach for those challenger bars. I want you to grab both of them, okay? Take your weights off to the side. Both challenger bars are coming to the ground. So we're making set this all up. Making our way down to the ground. One hand on either side, roll those shoulders back and we're pulling ourselves up in between the bars. Try to keep the weight on the heels. Try to stay fully extended at the hips. And if you want to add a little bit more work, we can pull a little bit more with the right and then pull a little bit more with the left, then come back to both, okay? Alternating where that work comes from. Right, left, and both. Okay, that was set one. We got two more of those. There's so many ways to make this harder. And yes, it is harder because you're carrying around extra weight with your weighted vest. So right away, it's almost like you gained six pounds of muscle. Okay, two, one, here we go. Pull with the right, pull with the left, and back to center. Nice big exhale. Oh yeah, feel that back body. Hold it for a second, if at the top. Oh, not at the bottom? <laughs> hold it here, hold it here! No. <laughs> you want to feel what she's talking about? Drawing those shoulder blades together. Tuck that chin to relax the neck. Woo! Oh, there we go. All right, we have one more of those. I really feel the difference in these with the vest on. Yeah. yeah. So we did a variation of the chin up, pull up with the challenger bars yesterday. So different than when you're working with two and when you're working with a vest. Shoulder blades back, nice big exhale, lift. Yes, let's try to slow down that descend. This is your last set of these before we move on. So really try to go for that full rep. 10 seconds. Try and get two more. Full in. range of motion. Woo! Oh! Here we go. Beauty. Please, guys. Woo. Great work! Okay, let's get rid of those bars for a second. Grab those stability balls. We're gonna come down to the ground. So we're starting with the balls on our shins. 
Okay, one arm reaches out, alternate arm reaches all the way overhead. Keep pushing into the ball. I want you to think of actively pushing the top of your shin into the ball. Push that hand into the ball. And we're not coming all the way down to the ground, we're just hovering off. It looks fairly simple, but I guarantee you, if you start pushing into the ball with your hand and opposite shin, you'll feel switch. Do you feel it, Jazz? I feel it. So much better than just that passive movement. All right, we got two more of those. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. Sometimes the best things are the simplest things. Okay, we're back in three, two, one. Remember, we're pushing into that ball. And breathing. Keep nodding the chin in towards your chest. Okay, ten, eight seconds. Stay here. Push, push, push. All right. One more. One more. Okay. Feel it like up here. So try to yeah, try to relax those hip flexors. So hard thing to do. It also depends where you're dominant. So if you're quad dominant, you might tend to feel it in your quads. If you tend to grip through the hip flexors, you might tend to feel it in your hip flexors. Be mindful of where those dominant areas are and try to bring softness to the hip flexors. Really focus on the core. But extending along, fully extending the arm and leg. Full range of motion here. Almost there, almost there. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Ooh, curl all the way up. Ooh. 10 seconds rest, and what? Okay, so we're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna get rid of the ball, reach for our dumbbells. We actually only need one. So we're gonna get one dumbbell, take it behind your right knee. Hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Then we're kicking that heel all the way up into a hip extension. Lower it all the way down before taking it out to the side for a hydrant, okay? Staying on the right side for this full set. Option, guys, if you find it hard to grip that dumbbell, it can be a bit dangerous if you're not used to it. Try it out with a lower weight, and then if you can't do it, just add the band or nothing. Or if you have the ankle weights, you could do that too. Really important here not to let that belly button hammock down as well to the ground. So a nice neutral spine. Let's take the weight over to the other side. Think of gripping into it with your knees. Big flexion in the knee, guys. Hands below the shoulders, up, down, out to the side. Try to keep the pressure even through both hands. I love this one. And you can really do this at home with anything, right? Yeah. Or at any time, ball, rather. Like no, that's not what I meant. Wrong sound, but at any time. It might be a fun game during commercials for the rest of the week to hop down and do these when you're watching TV. Every commercial break. Okay, so the next set, we're gonna alternate from side to side. I'm gonna stay on the left to start, and then we'll flip over to the other side halfway through. Okay, we're on in five, four, three, two, and one. Don't lock out through those elbows, especially if you hyperextend. Think of having just a micro bend in the elbows. Getting January started with a bang. Shotgun, bang. What's up with that thing? Switch sides. Switch sides. I wanna know, how does it hang? I think I'm dating myself right now. Oh. I don't even think you got that right, so don't worry about it. That was the right words. How does it hang? How does it hang? No. Shotgun bang. What's up with that thing? I want to know. How does it hang? Oh. No. So. Somebody Google it. How does it flow? Oh, right. I want to know. How does it flow? Yeah, maybe. Right. I don't know. Oh. No. It. It's how does it hang? Gotcha. Straight up. Hold up. Wait up. Mr. Lava. Ah, on set. All right. Oh. You're a sexy mother. <laughs> 
Jesus. Okay. <laughs> We're distracted. We're distracted. Go for those challenger bars. We're going to get behind it. And I want you to find um, the right placement of your hands so that they're not sliding. You're going to come down to a push-up. Push the ground away from you. And then hop your legs in as you pull your knees in towards your chest. Okay? So lower down for a push-up. Nice strong back. And then pull your knees in towards the chest. Hop those feet right back. I want to know. How does it hang? Straight up. Hold up. Are you sure? Somebody Google it. <laughs> Yeah, hold up. It's a lot of fun says you're a sexy mother. I like you. Wow, you voiced out by the mouth. Smooth black skin with a smile. Sorry. Bright as the sun. I want to have some fun. Can we give me some of that yum yum chocolate chip honey dip? Can I get a scoop? You make me want to soup. <laughs> well, I love it. You know that. Or... We like retro music. Is that a thing? Is that retro? That's really sad to think that that's retro. Is that retro? Well then. Woo! Okay, rest up. We got one more of those. So I want to give you a couple options. Is that what you were going to say? Yeah. Okay. So if you're not able to hop those knees in, just slow it down, okay? So we'll do the push up. If you need to walk it in before pulling your knees up, that's okay too, all right? I want you to feel safe and secure in your movements. I was gonna say, you don't really wanna swing the legs, so try and shift your weight. When you're here, push up. Shift your weight over top of your shoulders, and then bring those knees up. Woo. 10 seconds. Almost there. Walk it up. Three, two, and one. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get rid of the challenges for now. So challenging. And we are working with our sumo squat and lunge. Okay? So first we're going to start with a sumo squat. Toes out to the side, knees out to the side, drop down low. And then we're dropping into a curtsy lunge. There we go. Alternating from side to side, always resetting with that sumo squat. Keep your chest up. You are not going to like these by this third round. Working through that full range of motion. So if you have the ability to come down nice and deep, do it, okay? Just like in those curtsy lunges, we're going to slide that foot away from us, really trying to get nice and low, not letting that knee hit the ground if you can avoid it. And watch your speed. Watch that back. You'll see that my, I was stepping way too far back. You kind of just want to go back and at a slight angle. We don't want like a big wrench like this. Two, let's go. Nice and deep. Let's slow it down here so we can get that proper range of motion. Sometimes speed can hinder your range of motion. Oh, she feels it on the second Ooh. round. Still, well, still. Oh. But I'm not. You guys can always load this. You like torture? We are loading it. This is loaded. This is loaded. This is loaded. Load it with more. Yeah, just throw Jesse on your back. <laughs> Eight yes. seconds. Oh. Yeah. Let's see if I can do it. Oh Three. God. Am I doing this? Two. the best because I think I could do it. I think you could. I feel like I have, haven't I? Probably. Oh, and rest. Oh. Nice. Okay. Okay, so, so we're coming onto the ground. I'm going to take my vest off for this one because we're doing a Swiss ball pass through. Okay. Jessie's on the ground. She's going to show you what it's how it's done. 
and then I won't have the vest on so I can toss you onto my back. So we're curling up and alternating where that ball goes. First we have it in our hands as we extend the arms overhead, then we're taking it to the inside of the ankles. Try not to get your feet all the way on the ground though. 10 seconds left here. Lots of control guys. Three seconds, last one. All right. And another one. We don't need to brace that. Don't worry about the speed. Nice and controlled. Strength Easy day. does it. Strength Easy. day. Strength day. Slow your roll. Slow your roll. Here we go. Here we go. That's it, reach, 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 reach. Try not to arch your back away from the ground as we extend the arms and legs. Curl up all the way to the base of those back body ribs and breathe. Stay here, eight seconds. Stick with it. Do not stop. Okay, we have one more of those. If you're like, just had a baby, this is not one for you, okay? Don't go this one. And just, just as relative, just could mean six months ago, for some of us, just this could also point. mean a year. This so point. you always want to make sure that you're listening to your body. See a public floor therapist or a doctor. And don't be afraid to get a second opinion. And ladies, we're smart. We know if something's not right. If you're doing this and it feels like it's just pulling or it feels like there's pressure, then you know that it's not one for you, okay? Men, there's no excuse. Get those legs up. Last <laughs> Woo! All right. Unless you have a hernia, then. Okay, fine. There's an excuse. <laughs> fine, there's an excuse. There's always a note. Okay. Yeah, We're going to work on our squats, pistol squats. So you can use one bar or two, okay? If you're using two, the hands are on either side. We're gonna come onto our left foot, all the way to the left foot as we kick the right foot down, slowly lowering down. Let those bars be guides for you, okay? Try to be fairly light on them, but when you need them, go ahead and push into them. That's what they're there for, to support you. Think of reaching out through the heel of that extended leg. Got 10 more seconds here. Woo! Oh, she feels it. She feels it. Three, two, and one. Well done. You need some good mobility for that, guys. Mm -hmm. Some options they're not gonna do pistol squat. So if you're not gonna do pistol squat, we can do a staggered single leg squat. So your working leg is planted. The opposite leg, we're just coming to the toe, lining it up with the heel of that planted foot. And we still wanna to try to get nice and low. The whole idea here is range of motion. The pistol squat allows you to get a wider range of motion while lengthening the posterior chain of that extended leg. If you okay. have lower back issues, this may be a problem for you too. Listen to your body. 10 seconds. Know your limits, play within it. Side this one, guys. So smart, I don't know why I didn't think of that. What? Know your limits, play within it. There's so many things where I see it and I'm like, I could have done that. Sure. I could have done that. All right, so now we have to split the timing. Break, then left. I'm not splitting because I was doing a, a split squat, but one, you're gonna split. Into the Finishers! Woo! All right guys, finisher today. Long lean arms. We're gonna teach you six exercises to do that will help you create that long, clean, strong look. So stick around. It's only 12 minutes. The concentrated time switch sides. There we go. Feel that burning. Three. Two and one. All right, pack away your challenger bars. I want you to reach for those dumbbells. 